All right, so time for a little update and a confession to make. Um, the Outcast lift is working awesome. No complaints about it. Rides great, everything. My rear axles from uh, Warthog, awesome. They've been handling some serious abuse at some serious angles. However, my front axles are a different story. Haven't broke any, but as you can see up front, I'm running a little tiny axle and a big axle. And that's because the Warthog on the left side kept popping out of the diff. Uh, when I made the video about the Warthogs, I told you they were shorter. Well, they're a little too short. They work okay on the right side because of the way the geometry is, but the left side, the diff isn't exactly centered, and they keep popping out. So I mailed that back to Warthog and ordered a set of Cobras for the front because the Cobras are double plunging. You might notice that it's on the 31s on the Hyper Double B-Locks. Those are some brand new 31 blims. Um, you see how they actually sand off high lifter from the side of the tire. And I actually don't recommend these. The rubber is real hard. I mean, real hard. So look at the blim. I can barely squeeze that. I mean, it's hard. Look at a regular 31. So the tread's about twice as hard. The carcass is still pretty soft. Um, that's zero PSI though. And it looks like it's got some air in it. So not real happy with that. Um, but yeah, put it on the six inch wide bead lock. So the front's a little skinnier to help it cut through the water. I'm going to put a little bit of air in it maybe. I don't know. I kind of like how it looks with no air in them. They are kind of short though. The blims are a little shorter than the regular Outlaws already. So you can kind of tell they're a little smaller, but there's no air in them. But other than that, players is doing great. Tune is good. Um, other complaint I have is it's going through brake pads really fast. Um, not as fast as a Can-Am, but still pretty fast. I'm going to put some brass brake pads. Um, there's the 300. It's on the sledgehammers because the 31's got stolen off of it. It's also on hyper bead locks. Oh, yeah. Those are the 12 inch single bead locks. Um, but I ordered another set of 295 Outlaw 1 skinnies for those wheels. I'm going to get the put those on something else, but that will have two complete sets of Outlaws on hypers because that is the, the best wheel setup. I mess around with all these other ones, but we all know what the best tires are 31s on the double bead locks. But yep, there's a little update for you. Um, if, you if I were you and you're going to buy access for this bike, I'd buy Warthogs for the rear and Cobras for the front, mainly because. I like the Warthog rear axle setup where the inner joint is a regular CV, but they're still double plunging. Um, I like that setup. They seem to run pretty cool and everything. And these are also cheaper than the Cobras by a little bit. Or get all four Cobras. I don't think you have any problems with those either. But, uh, yep, just some more honest consumer advice. Um, someone did comment that they had the Warthogs up front and it was popping out of their diff. I'd be interested to know if it was their left axle that was giving them issues, though. So if you're that guy, uh, let me know. Because Warthog, I'm trying to give them some feedback too, so let me know. All right, thanks guys. Bye.